All right, I made it. We are here. Hello, everyone. We're here on the day, actually, technically, it's the day after now, that Mario Maker 2 was announced. So, uh, <laughs> what's up, everyone? Chat going so fast. It's never going to be able to read all those names. Thank you very much. Time is up. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Abma, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate the support. Uh, here's what we're going to do to kick off the stream today. We are going to go ahead. Mute this. We're going to go ahead. Pull this up. And we're going to go ahead and watch this trailer. Analyze this trailer. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen many people analyzing this by now. It's been out for about, uh, shoot, I don't know, nine hours, nine and a half hours now. Uh, but I have not had the chance to catch any analysis yet. So basically everything in here is going to be just things I've noticed, uh, along with some things that, um, I made this trailer smile. Okay, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, along with things that, uh, a few things that I've just heard from Twitch chat. Uh, Chill Boy Trout, thanks for the sub. So, let's go ahead and watch the trailer uh, right now. Our hype coincidence that SMM2 was announced on my Golden Swift Day? I think not. Okay. My birthday gift to you. Thank you for the good time. That's great. Uh, thank you very much. We're just going to watch the trailer, and then we will go back and discuss it. I have it in uh, in this mode so I can like point things out with my mouse in the screen capture mode. Oh my god. So we got slopes. So at this point of the trailer, I'm thinking like, okay, they're introducing slopes. That's like the that's like the thing that Mario Maker noobs wanted for Mario Maker. Like, slopes are actually like whatever, who cares? So I was like, what else are they gonna show me? And then they go off with this and it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> so good. So many new additions, crazy. And uh, I, I mean, they're just hitting you with everything. It's nuts, man. Cannot wait for this one. And someone told me that NSMB is not the same. See, I thought this was just more NSMB, but it's actually a completely different mode. Should be interesting. June 2019, incredible. All right, so let's go through this a little bit more slowly, and we'll uh, we'll point out some things. I'll pause here. At, uh, relevant moments, right here. Still nothing new. They introduce slopes like it's some kind of big deal. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be nice to have slopes, but everything else is just so much better. So yeah, yeah, you can make slopes, you can slide down them, you can run up them, you can have them at different angles. Pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so then here we have uh, our first look at SMW, our first new item. I don't know what these things are, they look kind of like Vanillite from Pokemon, to be honest. And, uh, it looks kind of like a, um, the tornado from SMB3 that you would see in the desert levels, but, but in, like, snow enemy form. I don't know. Uh, Vexfy, thank you for the sub. Um. Dear God, I made a big bowl of mashed potatoes. Well, Beast's making my dinner. What's your first impression of SMM2? 
just sit down and listen and we will tell you or I will tell you what my first impression is it's what we're doing right now so uh anyways so these look kind of like the tornadoes from like SMB3 or whatever they kind of like carry you in, in an odd way I don't know I mean it's gonna be fun to like see what, what you can do with them for sure uh, and here you see our first look at SMB3. We have our first new theme, which looks to be the desert in the background. We have the angry sun, which is going to be uh, amazing. And we have the platform, which is super wide. So it looks like you can now control like the length of the platforms to some extent that you put on the rails, which is uh, definitely really exciting. Uh, nothing else new here, but I'd like to see that desert theme. Okay, so here we have the our first look at the snow theme, and this is in NSMB. Okay, so we have the snow theme, and we also have a look at uh, the editor menu, uh, a little bit more in-depth look. Right now they're showing off the, the blocks that move on tracks, which is really nice. Um, if you'll notice over here, or over here, they have this thing, which we'll talk more about this later. It's weird. This looks like Amiibo support, I think. This is just the standard track that you could put behind Mario over here. Um, I'm not sure what exactly this is down here. You can kind of see it below the menu or whatever, but um, this looks like, yeah, I don't know what that is. That might be like to switch between the sub world and the main world. This is the, the snow theme. Not sure what the ship is yet. I think they did highlight that uh, at some point. Oh, that's a co-op symbol, okay. People are saying it's a co-op symbol. I don't know. That's uh, that's interesting, but that's good if that's what it is that you can. Because we'll talk about co-op later. Like uh, there's going to be some kind of co-op uh, element to this game. We're not quite sure what it is yet. Um, but if this is, this could be how you denote whether or not your stage can be played by only one person or by two people. Because a lot of stages would be completely broken if you could play them with two people. Um, I'm not sure though. We're not sure about this yet. We need more information. Uh, there's also this block up here. The the frog is the sound effects. I don't. I'm not sure what the block is for. Um, uh, Devolved Ratchet, right thanks for the sub. Uh, what else do we have? There's nothing else that's new up here, really. SMM too hype. Except for the slopes, of course. You have the course bot, you have the erase tool, like before. You have the undo dog. You have the clearing rocket, same as before. You have the menu over here. You have NSMB over here. Not too much else here. And then you can, you'll see that this is how the, uh, the blocks on tracks work, which is going to be really nice, I think. I do wonder, though... Go back to that for a second. Uh, you may thank you for the 12 months. Uh, what a way to celebrate my anniversary with a new Mario Maker. Yep. Uh, okay. So we are. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the tracks. So they're invisible. I wonder if you can put anything in their way. It looks like once you've set this track, you can't put anything there. Because you'll see it's not like... It's not touching any other... Uh, like coins or anything else. So it's probably going to be like, if you have this, you can't put anything else behind it. Uh, and then you'll see the green blocks over here. It looks like it starts as a platform. And... Uh, like you can see it behind this menu. It starts as like a four, four long platform, or maybe longer. I don't know. Let's see here. And then that's what it ends up as. All right, here we see water in a forest level. So we have the forest background, which is awesome. And then we have water, which this I think means you can put water as, as a, uh, just as part of any stage that maybe rises. Maybe it stays at the same level. I don't know. We don't know yet. I don't think we can put water in any specific tile, but just having it having it like this is perfect. Amazing. Oh, the boat icon is water. Okay. That makes sense. The boat icon is probably the water, yeah. Okay, so this is awesome. You have the forest, you have SMW. Nothing else too new here. Okay, this is awesome. This is going to be so insane, dude. 
these on off blocks with the corresponding red and blue blocks that get turned on and off like this is crazy like there's gonna be so many uses for that it's gonna be nuts uh, anyways, hopefully they'll have a lava version. I think they will have a lava version because I'll point out something later that I noticed. Okay, so here you have the uh, custom auto scroll, which is I think this feather icon here. So it means you can basically, uh, instead of just having a sideways auto scroll, you can have it move upwards and diagonally. And um, like, so this one will move up a little bit, and then once it reaches this point, it'll start moving down a little bit, and you can design your level like around that, and it will be, uh, that looks that looks really, really cool. So you can see the custom scroll right here, and the feather here. But it has this bird, so maybe it's the bird. I don't know what this feather would be then. Oh, this, okay, this is probably each one of the individual bird marks, right? So you put you put a feather, you click this, and you'll get another bird to put wherever you want, and then it follows that direction. Um, Okay, so that's really cool. That's super dope. Okay. So then you see that and you see how it moves. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at some of these menus here. Hang on. All right, so we have the, this is pretty standard, although we now have, I guess this would be the, um, what do you call it? The new Super Mario Bros. Our new Super Mario World theme. Apparently that's a new theme. It's not like, this is not NSMB. There's gonna be NSMB and then there's gonna be new Super, or new Super Mario 3D World, whatever you call it. So there are now five themes, World at least, my Valentine. that we know of. No, thank you for the sub though. Uh, the only thing that's unique here, we have two of these blocks. I don't know, I guess this would be just a reworked cement block. It's just like the cement block. Yeah, and this is just, yeah, so I guess that's nothing new. It's just how the cement blocks looks. The donut blocks look really weird in super, in 3D world. Um, clouds look good. You have just the platforms over here. I guess this is how spikes look. If you see this over here, we don't get a great look at that. You I guess, the I think that's a spike. In the top left two seconds ago. The coin checkpoint. Oh, that's true. The coin counter. I noticed that earlier. I thought that was later, but yeah, there's a coin counter up here, which is interesting. Um, and then you have this is the icon here right, that I was going to talk about later. As right? excited as I am to so, play Mario Maker 2, I am 1000% more excited to watch you play it. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. So, here we have the. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is a checkpoint. I, initially, I thought maybe this was some kind of like alternate win condition. Do we know that this is a checkpoint? Is this confirmed? You get 50 coins and you get a checkpoint? I'm not sure. But it's uh, it's something that you have to collect coins for. It might, if it was an alternate win condition, that would be cool. Or maybe like, it's probably not like a gate that you open with coins. That would be interesting too. But we're not necessarily sure about that yet, I don't think. So anyways, let us move on. Menus. Okay, so we have that menu. Oh, hang on. Uh, crazy dude, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, that's good enough for this one. Uh, we have the cat suit here. We have a new coin that gives you 10 coins at once right here which would, I think it gives you 10 coins at once, which could be interesting for fulfilling those coin objectives from before. Still the pink coins are back. Standard one up star, fire flower mushroom coin. Okay. Okay, this is where things get crazy. So you see the enemies here, you have the, uh, I don't remember what this guy's called, honestly, the big fish that like chases you or tries to eat you. Um, but that's really cool. You have the, this is the new enemy they showed off. I forget what, it, what it's even called. Um, you have your standard enemies here from Mario Maker 1. But then if you look over here, there are so many new enemies here. 
uh, Ant Trooper, thank you for the sub. There are so many new enemies over here. You got the, you have the bullies from like Mario 64. Uh, were they in 3D World? I don't even remember, but that's going to be really cool. So just guys that like run after you and try to bump you. You have these guys over here. I'm pretty sure it does not give us. Yeah, it doesn't give us like a an in-depth look at that. Hang on, let me get back to this. Okay, that's good enough. So, I forget what these guys even do. Were they like springy enemy guys? I don't remember. Standard Hammer Bros, you got like these Bumblebee guys. You have these uh, ice. I don't know what these guys are. Mice, mice. these mouse guys, your standard thwomps. These are the guys you'll see later with the, uh, the piranha plants that kind of chase you or follow a vine path or whatever. I don't know how to describe it. And then you have your piranha plants, which do different things in a uh, 3D world, in a 3D world thing. Bog man is getting a new game. Bog yeah. man is getting a new game. Bog man is getting a new game. Or I, or I, or I. Uh, that is true. All right, hang on a sec, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and disable alerts. Just give me a second here. We'll turn them on. I am buying a switch later. for this game. Uh, oh, all I need to do is never mind. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna get through this, and then we will re-enable alerts. Okay, so getting back to this. Uh. Yeah, you have all of this going on here. Tons of new enemies. Um, and I guess the big question that I have with this is how many of these enemies are going to be specific to, like, the 3D world theme, right? Because so many of them are new and, like, pretty much every enemy could be found in every theme in Mario Maker uh, 1. So I wonder how many will be will be made for every theme like will they retroactively make them for smb1 all of these uh 3d world enemies i guess we don't know yet but that would be awesome uh yeah the menus the menus themselves look nice it's uh nice to have things sorted like this and i think it's needed for a system that doesn't have uh, dual screen support i mean maybe it doesn't maybe it maybe they somehow program it in and allow the switch to have two screen support, that would be awesome, but we don't know yet. Wouldn't they have to make them work in all themes? Not necessarily. You could just have it to where one theme has different enemies. Um, but hopefully we can use every enemy and everything. That's just a big question that I have with all these new enemies. Uh, so, okay, let's move on. We have the Ant Trooper. I forget what these guys even did in 3D World. I played that game, but I don't really remember it that well, honestly. I think they're just like standard enemies that don't really do much. I know, one thing I did notice is like, the grid seems to be a lot larger in this game. Like the tiles per screen, there's, they, there seem to be fewer. And I don't know how that's gonna work out. Maybe that's, hmm, does it zoom out? I guess you can maybe zoom out, because right there it didn't look too much. Maybe you can zoom in and out as you're creating. That actually does look like something you do. Zoom in and out. Maybe that, that's this. Okay, that's interesting. So you can zoom in and out. All right. That's definitely something to notice. What is this camera over here? That's probably the zoom, right? This is probably the zoomed in mode. And yeah, here's the 3D world theme. You can make these trees. Will the trees appear in other themes? We don't know. That would be very interesting to have like climbable trees in other game modes. Um, this just looks like the, the standard theme for uh, 3D world. Uh, what else can we notice here? Anything? Did I miss anything? Well, we had the piranha plant, right? Let's go back. Ant trooper. You have the piranha plant that like lunges at you, and they're pretty big. That's I think that's the standard piranha plant, but it might might not be. I think it is though. I think that's just a standard piranha plant. <laughs> Big zoom out at the start of the trailer. 
Uh, anyways, let's keep going. We have these trees, very cool. You can put items in them, shake it out, very nice. Obviously you have Cat Mario, which is super nice. Uh, that's like the main NSMB, or not NSMB, but uh, 3D World power up there. 3D World looks interesting. I, I, I honestly thought, I did not think they would introduce new themes uh, when they made a new Mario Maker. I thought it would be the same four new items, new new backgrounds, you know, some new uh, new effects, but I did not see the 3D World coming. And it, it looks kind of weird, but I'm sure we'll play some crazy Cat Mario Kaiser levels. Uh, anyways, okay. Let's keep going. To run up walls, here's a look at the desert theme in uh, 3D World. Okay, here's a look at the piranha plants that we saw earlier with the uh, with the vine. This is how you this is how you set it, uh, set the course for the piranha plants. So yeah, and that's also the cave theme for the uh, for the 3D World theme. Looks very cool. You have these blocks that kind of... I guess you'll be able to set... It doesn't show the editor for this, it just shows them hitting the block and it expands in certain ways. Um, but that's going to be interesting as well. That you just hit that and then you have these clear pipes. These clear pipes, I really hope these are in uh, every... I really hope these are in every... Um, game mode because these are really cool and could lead to some amazing gameplay possibilities. Reminds me of uh, yeah, that one level from Juzcook's Invictus hack where you, you are going in and out of pipes like rapidly and it's not like actual pipes that take you to a different area, it just takes you to a slightly different part of the screen. But yeah, you can do some really cool things with these pipes, uh, including shoot through them, go through them, and uh, I'm sure there will be some creative uses. It looks up here like you can set the amount of coins here. Yeah, this one's at 113, the other one was at 50. Uh, another look at the underwater theme in the 3D world uh, theme. I just keep using theme. And then this is, this is like a sky theme, which is really interesting. Um, I don't know what this is down here, this uh, like neon, arrow sign uh, and I don't know if these are climbable grates here or if this is just like a semi-solid platform not sure very cool that you can have these bullets coming from the background uh, to hit you that's super awesome they are climbable and is okay so this is going to be what the conveyor looks like in uh, 3d world yeah okay I see that now this is the conveyor is this a semi-solid platform then? And these grates are climbable, maybe? Do we know that? Does it show anything here? Oh yeah, it shows the little climbing there. Okay, so I missed that before. This was super brief SMV3 sky theme. Uh, and it has these like tilting platforms. It has one just sitting here and one on a track. Very interesting. It's obviously got to be like a semi-solid platform, right? If it's sitting with blocks surrounding it. Uh, another coin tracker up here. So it looks like they were really focused on making coins more useful. And uh, we're going to see what that what that's all about. Here you have the uh, enemies with parachutes, which is going to be which is a nice nod back to SMW. Very cool. And uh, you have a red pipe over here. It looked like that enemy came out of the pipe, right? The parachute enemy just came out of the pipe. Yeah, he just sh shot out of the pipe. Oh my god, so much to take in. So, uh, it's a red pipe. Can you color pipes, whatever color you want? Or is that like a, is there a reason it's red? I don't know, either way it would be very cool. Um, either way it would be very cool. Yeah, I could play it in slower mode, I guess. Um, We'll put it at half speed, that's fine. So we have, we can pause easier. Um, okay. <laughs> God, the music just gets ruined. Here's another sky theme. This is the, this looks like the NSMB sky theme. Uh, Cause this is not, 
This is not 3D World, I believe. This just looks like standard NSMB. Um, very cool, starry sky. And then you have the lava down here. So I think this is uh, just like the water, you can put lava in any theme. Um, oh yeah, Yoshi's red. Holy shit, I never even noticed that. Uh, good call, chat. So you can, so probably you can color Yoshi's. Actually, did we see what he swallowed? Hang on. I don't think we saw what he swallowed. He's just spitting fire, but I wonder if they have the Yoshi powers. Like if he just swallowed anything and spits fire. Okay. I am not going to put it on. I hate listening to the music like this. We're going to put it back to normal. I'll just be good with my pauses. Um, so yeah, Yoshi's red. That's crazy. I didn't even notice that until right now. Uh, we got the star theme and looks like we have lava. We can put lava in any, in any theme now, which would be very cool. And it's pink. I don't know if that's like standard to the star theme lava or if we can color the lava. Maybe we can color anything, any color we want. That would be very cool. The red pipe was faster like red cannons, was it? Maybe. Maybe. Hang on. You might be right. Like it, 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 it did spit out like two of these really quickly. So that might be like what the red pipes are. Kind of like, yeah, like the red and black cannons. Uh, okay, let's move on. We're fighting Bowser. Here's the jungle theme. This might just be the forest theme for um, this. Yeah, we're back to 3D world. We have the cat suit. We have this row of blocks at the bottom. You can't kind of, you kind of can't see it with the YouTube bar in the way. Sorry, but there's a row of blocks on the bottom. I'm not sure what they are. Are those donut blocks? or something else. The donut blocks didn't look necessarily like that though. The, those, the blocks at the bottom look more square here. And I think you have water here as well. Um, and then you have like the big fish. You can see the big fish down here coming out of the water trying to get you. And then you have Boomer, which is really cool. We have new like mini boss option with a Boomer just chilling in here. And they all look like really giant, the enemies in this theme. There's a purple block up here, which is intriguing. Is that a throw block? Or is that just how the blocks look? Yeah, you have the glass pipe. We know about glass pipes. Goomba's just chilling, going through the glass pipe. Purple blocks are from 3D World. Throw blocks were in one of the menu screenshots. Uh, they weren't the throw blocks. I think those were the track blocks, but I know what you're talking about. Um, okay. So you got Boomer, he's spinning around, you jump off his head, and you have bonsai builds. You're able to put bonsai builds in levels now, that's awesome. Uh, is that a, was that a red hammer bro up top there? Or is that just a Koopa? I can't tell if, I think that's a red hammer bro. And I don't know why he's red. Maybe you can make many things faster now. Oh, fire bro. Could be a fire bro, yeah. So you got a red fire bro up here. Maybe you shake a hammer bro, it becomes a fire bro. That's very interesting. Will it have ice? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay. And you got more of the enemies with uh, those things. And then you have the big reveal, which is this screen here. You have Luigi in a maker suit. So there's going to be like a two player component to this game. Wait, frog suit? Where'd you guys see frog suit? Frog suit at bot. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's a frog suit right there. He's holding it. No, that's a cat suit, I think. I think that's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat suit. It's just a green cat suit. It's not a frog suit, guys. False alarm. It's a green cat suit. You can tell by the pause. Uh, maybe it's just an intentional, debated moment from Nintendo, and we will get the frog suit. Who knows? I, I'm so excited to learn more details about this game and to play it. I can't believe it's only like four months away, but yeah, there's... So, like, 
something to do with two players. I don't know. Will it be two player? You have the ability to make co-op maps, to make your maps co-op if you want. Can you build maps in a co-op fashion? Like, can you build half a map, send it to someone else, have them finish it? You know? I don't know. What do I make of the coin counter collection thing? We don't know exactly what it is. I'd say it's either, some people were speculating it's a checkpoint. It could even be like an alternate win condition, I think. Um, or maybe they have options um, for what you can do, what you can assign the coin counting to. I don't know. We don't know yet. But uh, it's pretty crazy. What else we got? June 2019. And that's about it. Being able to share unfinished levels would be huge. Oh yeah, it would be great. It would be absolutely awesome. So yeah, we caught a lot of things in there. I'm sure there were some things I missed. Uh, those are just my initial initial impressions. Um, promo art reveals Luigi and Toad as playable characters. Really? Toad, huh? And there's probably going to be Peach as well. Well, Peach needs to be rescued. I don't know. Time for boring old SMM, yeah. Am I stoked? Oh, I'm stoked. I cannot wait. Backwards compatibility. I hope they just ditch all the prior levels. Restart the servers anew. Uh, and I think that with the amount of new content that they've added, they'll do that. And I hope they will. Because that was another one of my questions, is will will the old levels be playable in the new game? And I hope not, honestly. Let's start fresh. Um, can we watch it again? Full cover artwork shows some more details. Uh, okay, hang on. Let me see if I can get it up here. Is that the official art though? Hang on. I guess this is the official art. What about this? Is this official? This looks like a wider version of the official art. This looks official. Let's put it up on the stream right now. Take a look at it. I believe this is the official art. So you got Mario, you got Luigi, and you have, you know, the giant bonsai bill over to the right. Oh, there's the toad. Okay, you have, you can put power ups on parachutes. You have these cat bullet bills up in the top left. Looks like you have Toadette to the left as well in a cat suit. Um, you have a black piranha plant, the breathing fire. You have a Koopa in a car. What the hell is the Koopa doing in a car? Holy shit. Uh, you have Boomer, you have these tornado guys. You have the purple piranhas that, with the, that follow a track. Uh, nothing else here, right? I guess you can put these ant, uh, you can put the ant guys attached to ceilings upside down. That's new. Horizontal thwomp. Oh yeah, the thwomp is pushing the, uh, pushing the flowers horizontally. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh my god, this game has so much... <laughs> So much to do. I cannot wait for this game to come out. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up right there. I'll probably uh, probably be throwing this on YouTube. So hello, YouTube audience as well. Um, man, Toad has a hammer. 
Where? Oh yeah, he does have a hammer. That could just be him making something though. Will we actually have access to hammers? A hammer suit maybe? I don't know. So much going on here. Uh, it is time for me to play boring old Mario Maker 1 now. So I'm going to wrap things up right there. Thank you for watching.